So today we're checking in on the adorable little baby short neck turtles. They're doing awesome, growing well. We're going to go through a bit of weekly maintenance that you can do to keep these guys healthy and happy. But first, let's give them some food. So they get very excited for food time. And on the menu today is just a bunch of little baby wood roaches covered in some calcium and vitamin powder. So we'll dump a few of those in and see how long it takes for them to find it. You know, something's up. Does not take these guys long at all. So they go pretty nuts for these little wood roaches. They absolutely love them. Now we're going to give the tank a bit of a clean today, so I always like to feed the turtles first. That way if there's any uneaten food or any other mess they leave behind, because they are very messy little eaters, uh, I'll be able to clean that up and they can have the freshest water possible once it's all done. Now you can see they've started to decimate all the live plants I put in there. Whenever they're not eating little roaches and things, they're always nibbling away at those plants and uh, just getting fatter and fatter. Uh, but it means a bit of a mess for me, but uh, it's really healthy and good food for them. So I put all of it in the other week and uh, it's a bit of a mess at the moment now. So we we'll have to clean that up a little bit when we service the tank. And with these guys being so ravenously hungry 24 seven as little baby turtles, I think they've actually nicked off one of the fish that I had in here. So I had two and these days I'm only seeing that one fella there swimming around. So I think he might be a bit traumatized. He's seen some things, uh, but we'll have to grab a few more guppies out of the big pond out the back to put in here to keep little turtles company. So I'm going to leave them to swim around and find the last of that food and in the meantime I'm going to get my servicing equipment ready. I'm just going to fish these little turtles out, pop them in their little holding tub. So I'm going to bring these little ones outside here give them some sun time. Now, when you're sitting turtles outside in the sun, there's a few key things you need to remember. Uh, they can cook out here very, very easily, especially a tiny little turtle like this. During the warmer months, you leave it out here for you know, more than 10 minutes in direct sun, you could start having some serious issues. So when I pop them out here, I always give them some kind of shaded area so they can have access to that 24 seven. They can move back and forth and get as much sun as they want. And then as well, because they're outside here, I've got this little screen covering that is going to protect them from any predators or anything like that. And I can pop some rocks on top so nothing can get to them as well. So that's my little sunning enclosure for the little turtles. And they're going to be out here for about 15 minutes or so, or as long as it takes me to do the tank. And I'll constantly come back and check on them as well to make sure they're doing well. But they really enjoy some sun time to dry out their shells and it is very beneficial for them as well. So I'm gonna take our little siphoning hose here, unravel it, bring it out across my deck and down into an area where it can drain. I'm gonna leave the other end here in the tank. So now I've got my hose rolled out and it's at a much lower point than the tank. Because I'm using a canister filter, it's actually really easy to set up and get the water flowing through it. Now where the water actually returns to the tank up here, there's a bit of pressure behind that. So all I'm gonna do is get my hose here and put that into the end there where the water starts to flow in. It'll start filling with water through this hose and once it sort of starts to get a little bit in there, it'll start gravity feeding as well. So then all you have to do is pull out the hose, pop it under the water, and then you can actually start to siphon in the tank. If you have a look down the bottom here, it's starting to actually suck up some of the waste and everything else that we're gonna try and get rid of. So it's a pretty easy system to start. If you don't have a canister filter, you can just fill up the hose with some water, pop a thumb over one end and uh, do the same thing. The gravity will start to make it flow. You don't have to actually suck on the end of the hose like you see a lot of people doing. Uh, there's much easier ways to actually get it started. So then we're just gonna actually hover above the sand and the substrate on the bottom and actually pick up any of that loose material that's gonna be lighter than your substrate. So it should actually come up really quite easily just like that. Now these turtles have been ripping apart all the plants and so there's all sorts of little bits of plant waste and things on the bottom here which should easily be able to suck up with your siphon. 
Now the amount you have to clean the tank depends on the size of your turtles and the size of the tank. The volume of water compared to the amount of waste that those turtles are putting in it. So right now these turtles are really small and this is a decent sized four foot enclosure. So it doesn't have to be cleaned all that often at all. About every two weeks is when I'd actually do about a water change. But your tests are going to be the most important thing to see where your tank is at. So every week I would test that water, especially the nitrates, and see what's going on and how much water you're going to have to take out. If the nitrates are really spiking high, you might have to do a 50% change, but today they were quite low, so I'm only going to do about a 20% change. Also, don't be afraid of actually getting in there and stirring up that substrate, mixing up all those particles, because the heavy stuff, which is your substrate, it's going to fall to the bottom, and all this other little stuff is just going to float into the water and then settle right on the top, making it very easy to actually siphon once that's done. As you can see there, there's not too much waste in here now, but there is a little bit that hides within the substrate. Now depending on how dirty your tank is as well, you might have a bunch of algae and other stuff forming on the glass. All you got to do is grab maybe a tea towel or a sponge and just literally scrub that right off there. It should come off very, very easily. So once you've gotten rid of all the waste on the bottom that you don't want accumulating in there, you can actually just set up your hose to siphon out as much water as you want to change. So what I've done here is just got my little lid here, wedged it against the hose at a certain level. So once it reaches this spot, it'll stop being able to pull up water and then I'll be able to change and replace it. Now once you've taken out enough water and things are happy and in place, you can start refilling. Now I'm quite lucky here because we actually have rainwater from a massive tank, so I never have to worry about treating my water or adding any conditioners or anything like that. But if you're using tap water, then you might want to actually look at using some water conditioning products to actually make it safe for the fish and everything else that might be in your tank. So now that everything's filled and it's all set up the way I want it, Let's bring these little guys back inside. How can they not make your day, hey? They're just so adorable. You can see they're getting a little bit bigger, but they are still absolutely tiny little turtles. So let's pop them back in. There you go, mate. <laughs> Get your little friend. You as well. back home. So there you have it guys, a bit of an update on the little baby turtles. They just make my day every time I look at them. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.